Guys, we made it. Look at this. So apparently you can try the salt here. There must be thousands of these salt pans. We keep walking and it just keeps going. We're Alex and Lindsay, two travelers who are exploring South America when suddenly, strict lockdown began leaving us stuck abroad. We've been here for months, and even though lockdown is lifted, things in Peru are far from normal. We're documenting the whole thing and sharing it with you. Buenos dias from Urubamba. It is bright and early in Peru. It's always hard waking up early, but it's always rewarding when we wake up early and go for walks in the morning. It's beautiful. The light is amazing in the morning. And we got up early for a reason. We're going to the Mara salt mines. Also known as the salt pans, the salt ponds. It's one of the things. top things to do in the Sacred Valley, but since it's COVID times, we're not sure if they're going to let us in, but we figured it's worth a try. It'll be a miracle if we actually get in. Most likely this video is going to be our attempt at getting there, and then a regular day. <laughs> but uh, we'll do the best we can because we really want to show you guys this place. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. So, we got to some railroad tracks here. Very cool in the morning. See how the locals are getting ready for work. Work for the day. Whenever we've seen pictures of the salt mines, they are beautiful. They have tons of different colors that are kind of pastel looking. And apparently the best time of year to visit is the dry season for the colors to come out. And we're in the dry season. It goes to October, I believe, so. Getting lucky. I am curious to see if in person it looks just as good as the pictures. Ah, <sighs> uh, look at this. Came across this right on the road. Looks like an old, old colonial church. We see a lot of these little abandoned churches around. They're so beautiful. Okay, then you'll see a cactus and these rainbows to turn left. Maybe we'll get there. We heard there could be a guard on the bridge, but there isn't. So, half the way there. So, a man just stopped us. Wow guys, look at this. We have some workers down there. Look at that sunrise. This is beautiful. They said we could go up there, right? I think he's asking where we came from. Guys, we made it. Look at this. We're right in front of it. Right in front of Mara's salt mines. We made it for sunrise. It is so beautiful. So these are actually ancient salt mines or salt pans, whatever you want to call them. They've been here for hundreds of years, if not maybe a thousand or two, because some say they're pre-Inca. Look at the reflection in some of those mines. So it's actually pretty cool. The local community has exclusive mining rights to the salt pans near Maras. 
So they still use these salt mines today. And this is where a lot of the country and even some of the world gets its salt. Very flavorful, has healing properties. Wow, they're collecting it here. So apparently you can try the salt here. <laughs> now it's salty. <laughs> wow, that's really good. Amazing. Healing properties, I guess. So we have some information about Maras, but there is just too much, too many numbers, too many dates. So we're going to do a little voiceover here and give you a little bit more of the information that we can't remember off the top of our heads. The Mara salt mines, or Salineras de Maras, are ancient salt pans dug into the mountainside, thousands of shallow pools filled with salt water. Eventually, they evaporate, leaving behind salt. They've been in operation for more than 500 years. It's believed that the Wari civilization, which predates the Inca, were the ones who constructed these mines. But then the Inca saw the economic opportunity of harvesting the salt here, so they gradually expanded everything. Today there are over 6,000 salt pans. So look at these, you can see a couple of mounds of salt here. And there must be thousands of these salt pans everywhere. We went by most of them already and now look, way more up here. So as you can see, this place is huge. I have never seen anything like it. And all the different salt ponds are different colors. We're not really sure why. And we can see the mounds of salt piled next to each pond. They're pretty big piles too. And I am impressed. I didn't know, it looks better than the photos, I think. Mm -hmm. Like, I had no idea it was gonna be this cool. Yeah, for those of you who, who know that most photos, when you see photos, uh, travel photos on Instagram of places, a lot of times they make it look much better uh, with their presets and with their colors <laughs> the and editing. the editing and all of that. But this place, it looks better in person. It's so big, so vast. There's so many of these and you can just walk around it for quite a while and just take it in. I love so. it. And the cool thing is, they're still working in the salt mines, so it's not like just a site the tourists come to and it's not actually utilized. It's used to make tons of salt. It's definitely one of the coolest things in Peru, so if you come <laughs> to the Sacred Valley area, you have to see this. Have to. It's 10 sole to enter. And now, we're just going to take in the view for a little while. We're not going to film the whole thing. You'll see it, but we want to just spend a few minutes to ourselves, not with the camera, so take a look at what we're looking at. So you look at these workers down here. Looks like he's carrying a big old bag possibly of salt. And she's scooping the salt into the bags. Scooping the salt out. Wow, and then here's another guy here walking around, don't know what he's doing. And then you'll see another guy at this pond, several up here. So many people working in these. So Maras actually provides a lot of the salt for Peru. People love this salt. We're definitely gonna bring some back home. Should we just scoop some out of the ground right now? That's a good idea. <laughs> scoop some up, put it in a bag, and bring it home. <laughs> I'm getting hungry, so... <laughs> so you're craving salt? Yeah. Are all these salt mine views making you hungry? Mm, yes, they are. I want something really salty, like some salty papas fritas. 
So some word of advice, if you come here, I would wake up super early and see sunrise or you could come at sunset and I feel like the colors will be a lot better for seeing it and for photography and everything like that. Oh yeah. We got here when it was still dark and waited for the sun to rise and it was totally worth it. I think we left our place at 4.30 in the morning. So we're actually staying a 30 minutes walk outside of town, actually toward where we are right now. Of Yurubamba. So if you're staying in Yurubamba, like in the city, then you should probably get up at 4, maybe even slightly earlier. Not 4 was good for us. We left by 4.30. Yeah. So if you leave by 4 yourselves, uh, 4 a.m., <laughs> you can get here and watch the sun rise. So this trail, on um, you can get to Mara Salt Mines from two different ways. One is from the actual town of Maras, and one is from Yerbamba. So we came the Yerbamba way, but we might go back the Maras way just to see what the town's like. Speaking of photos, these are our photos of the day. Guys, this is crazy. We keep walking and it just keeps going. It is so big, way bigger than I thought. Wow, we've been walking for a while, so we thought it was that first part there and then it went to here and now it's going to here. We're going around a curve and look, it goes all the way, wow. So we got up at four, it's uh, about seven now. So we've been here for a couple hours. And now I think we're gonna go to Maras, the town of Maras for which the Maras salt pans are named. Or maybe the town is named after them. I'm not sure which came first, chicken or the egg. So it didn't work guys. We tried to get actually onto the salt pans where you can walk around and be very close to them. But right now, it's closed and a guy stopped us. A guy stopped us right when we were very close. Uh, he was very nice about it, but he said it was uh, prohibited right now. So we're thankful for the parts we did get to see. Beautiful. But if you come when it's truly open, you'll probably get to get closer than we did and see the salt pans up close. Salt yeah. pans, salt pans. Yeah. We just walked the whole thing. There's a salida exit right here and we're gonna try to make our way to Maras the town. Uh, supposedly it's a 30 or 40 minute walk. And this whole walk along the salt mines is beautiful because you're right in the hills and the mountains. What the hell? What is What are those balls on her chest? What? Senorita! Look at her earrings. You're looking good, boy. Muy sexy. It's so crazy to see this place like this. If you look through all these office buildings, work buildings, nobody here. It's like a ghost town. This is what it's like during the pandemia. So this is where you would usually pay your 10 sole fee, but nobody here. Guys, so look at all of these circles near the ticket booth. It looks like these were probably made in order for people to stand in line at a safe distance before getting in. All of this, all the way to the ticket booth, but it's completely closed, nobody's allowed to go, so it really makes no sense. I don't get it, maybe, I don't know. maybe they thought they were gonna open it and the villagers said no. Yeah, that's probably what it's like, and that's what it's been like in Peru lately. They think things are gonna open, they think Machu Picchu will open, but then the villagers or the townspeople nearby decide they no, say. they don't want it. So, wow, it stops everything. It stops everybody's ability to make money. Oh, the tourists' ability to go to anything. 
So this is what the walk to Maras looks like. <laughs> we assumed it would be like a road, but we're going straight up some hills here. I keep noticing these shells. So this is the road into the town. Hola. I think this is the least amount of people we've seen in a city or town. Mm -hmm. There's just nothing. Let's go see how much it is and hopefully it makes someone's day. Muchas gracias. Oh, oh, look at this. What? <laughs> Look at all the chicharillas in this town. We can see the mounds of sand just piled next to each pond. Salt. What did I say? Sand. Oh. And we can see the mounds of salt. So we just scoop some out of the ground right now? <laughs> Lindsay? Oh, uh. So we just scoop some out of the ground right now? There's all this salt mine looking at. What? Wait. <laughs> Three, two, one. Laugh. Oh, you want me to laugh? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want postcards from around the world? Right now I am writing and drawing on postcards to my subscribers. If you want to join my Patreon, click the link below. You'll be supporting the channel and you'll be getting something pretty cool with a drawing from me. Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you want to watch more, click one of these videos. Subscribe because I'm traveling all around the world and I'm sharing the whole thing with you. Thanks.